Hi, it's Tony here again from the Think to Thrive team. You may notice, first of all, that on the screen there is a still image. Don't worry, we are soon going to jump to video. Now, how are you enjoying this challenging time? It's for Mike and I to reach out with inspiration on a daily basis. I hope you have been enjoying these videos. Stay resilient, stay focused, and remember we can all get through. Today's video is entitled Flow. Now my good friend Mike always uses that term, ease and flow, ease and flow. I've been thinking looking outside the, the window, uh, locked in doors working, that the, the biggest stress that I find is the fact that normality has ceased. And that idea of getting back to normal and wanting to get back to normal can actually create a lot of stress and a lot of worry. One of the ways we can combat this stress or worry is to look around and try and find as much as possible or remind ourselves as much as possible of creating flow in the everyday. Because if you're not in a state of flow, you are in a state of stress and this is not a good place to be. So as often as you can join a day, as hard as it may appear indoors, to try and find moments of flow. And it was when I was reviewing some videos that I filmed uh, abroad on holiday that I was able to instantly remind myself of what flow felt like um, just by reviewing those videos. So I'm going to show you a video clip in a minute which uh, is about flow, uh, which is quite nice because we've got uh, a different scenery in the background and I found it really helpful. So quick tip for today, maybe just go through and spend a day reviewing some of your videos or, or film footage from holidays to remind you this is not going to last forever. Calmness of mind and flow is absolutely crucial during these challenging times. And I'm going to leave a quote with you uh, before we hop across to the video and also meet Mike. And it's by James Allen. Absolutely wonderful quote. Check this out. Calmness of mind is one of the beautiful jewels of wisdom. It is the result of long and patient effort in self-control. What an absolute marvellous quote. Let's hop over and meet Tony now in a sunny location. Flow, or as my good friend Mike always says, ease and flow, ease and flow. Now, if you ever observe a great golfer in their swing, there is ease and flow in that golf swing for that uh, golf club to strike that golf ball perfectly. Now, I'm gonna show you a quick clip here of how nature is always working with ease and flow. Have a look at these clips here. I just observe how all of nature bends and ease and flow gives way and bends to the forces of wind that might be working through it. Um, the reason I'm showing you this clip is because we really need to learn from that ease and flow in the manifestation of our dreams and goals. Just to be aware to put a little bit more ease and flow into your daily actions, thoughts and processes, just like that great golfer when they strike that golf ball. And I see you in the next video. For me, Tony Mallet, here's to your success. So you may be asking, how do you get into flow? Flow is a great place to be and sometimes people perceive getting into flow as something that only athletes do or high performers do but the truth is that you can get into that state of flow as well. Flow is a great place to be because it cancel, kind of cancels out the noise, you're basically at one being present and you're just getting on with that specific task or activity without any sort of distraction. So how do you do it? Well, one of the things that you can obviously do is something that we talk about that is practice. Practice getting into flow. You can prepare yourself to get into flow. So there's a specific task that you've got to do. Think about how you can eliminate distraction. Now it's very difficult when you've got people around the house. But one thing that you can do is obviously practice being focused and being centered. The other thing that you can help you to become more centered and more focused is to practice meditation. 
you've heard me speak about it before meditation has huge benefits in terms of health benefits but it also helps you to concentrate and control and calm the mind that can help you get into a flow state and the other thing that you can do to help yourself prepare and get into a flow state is to make sure that you're well rested you're getting good night's sleep and you're not too tired making sure you get into bed on the right time and you're waking up at the right time you've had a good solid night's sleep so there's some simple things that you can do to get yourself into flow because as Tony mentioned it's a great place to be without that noise without the distraction and you just go about your daily tasks with that ease and that calm and that comfort and that confidence that you move in throughout your day in a much more efficient and effective way all right so give those a go don't forget to leave a comment and let me know how you get into flow what you do on a daily basis to get and to promote more ease and flow as we spoke about okay don't forget to subscribe share this with your circle of influence and until next time take care here's to your success